Hello and welcome to the 903 Broadband Training Module 1. Today we will introduce you to the, the Power Code Network Software application. So what is Power Code? Power Code is a network management tool that allows you to manage all aspects of your network environment including customer information, customer account and billing data, network hardware, and status monitoring and alerts for your infrastructure. Let's sign into Power Code and get started. When you sign into Power Code, you are presented with the home screen. This is the main panel for accessing the numerous options within Power Code. The home screen is comprised of one or more widgets that you can add to customize your experience. In this case, we have the Elevation Profile widget, the Network Overview widget, and the Ping widget. Widgets are a topic for a later module. Note the search options along the top of the screen. This is a very useful tool, and we'll be discussing those shortly. Also notice the navigation toolbar along the top of the panel under the search options. This allows you to quickly access a particular area or function within Power Code by clicking on the link. Let's talk about the search function. When you click inside the search box, where it says search here, a drop-down menu appears below the search box. This allows you to filter your search for a particular field within Power Code data. There are numerous ways to search for information including, customer status, address, and trouble ticket, to name just a few. As you can see by default, the name phone number filter is selected. This allows you to quickly search for a customer profile when needed. The customer group drop-down only includes the all option as the customer data is not organized into groups so it defaults to all. Let's initiate a search by typing the last name Smith in the search box. Note that the search field is not case sensitive. Press the magnifying glass button or press enter to perform the search. The results are displayed in customer ID order with key customer data fields listed in the subsequent columns. Also note that you can further filter your results by using the boxes just below the column names to further refine your search. In this case we enter the name guy in the name field to narrow down the search. You can also use a partial piece of data to refine your search. This time we use the street number in the address field to filter the search. The search function is a very powerful tool when looking up customer data and is usually the first option you use when accessing power code. One other quick tip for searches. Clicking on the people icon at the right of the search function gives you access to the most recent searches you have performed. This is a quick way to get back to a most recent customer search. This concludes the overview of the search function. Feel free to try all of the various search options to decide what works best for you. Next up we'll talk about power code tickets.